first discover America? Is there any proof? You will be amazed by the answer. And after you watch this video, you will agree that Muslims really were the first to have discovered America. Let's begin. About America dates back quite far. So let's go back to the first century after the Hijrah. There was a person who lived in the time of Caliph Omar. His name was Imam al-Shabi. This scholar made an extraordinary claim. Abu Bakr al-Khalal recorded his words in a book. There are slaves of Allah who live further than al-Andalus. They are at the same distance to Andalus as us. They are undoubtedly obedient to the Creator. The grounds are covered in rubies and diamonds and their mountains are filled with gold and silver. They neither plant anything, nor do they work. They feed from trees that bear fruits and dress from trees with large leaves. If you know a bit about history, then you know that he was describing the first native people of America. And we all know that the American continent has an abundance of gold, silver, and various rich fruits. This scholar has said that there are as far from Andalusia as we are. Looking at the geographical location he gives, we see that the area beyond Andalusia is the Atlantic Ocean. Imam al-Shabi lived in Kufa. If you measure the distance of both Kufa and America to Andalusia, then you will see the shocking result. Just as Imam al-Shabi said, the distance between Andalusia and America is roughly the same. So how did he reach this knowledge? Unfortunately, no one knows. Now let's go back to the 3rd century of the Hijra. Al-Masudi, who lived in the 900s, mentions an explorer named Al-Hashash in one of his books. He says that he crossed the Atlantic Ocean, reached land there, and returned in 889. He said that he had seen people living beyond the Atlantic Ocean. This was in the 6th century of the Hijra. What you can see is the world map drawn in 1154. Muhammad al-Idrisi drew it on a rounded surface. This shows that Muslims at that time knew that the world was round. But this is not the only detail we need to focus on. When we look at the map carefully, we can see that the geographers of the time drew maps differently. North is underneath and south is on top. But when we turn the map around, we can see the fascinating detail. There is a land beyond the coast of Europe and Africa. Al-Idrisi called it the huge land. In one of his books, he notes that in Portugal, which was once a Muslim land, a couple of Muslim youths crossed the Atlantic Ocean and some of them made their way back. He heard that they had found a new land, and more interestingly, that they had encountered Arabic-speaking people there. This shows that Muslim people were already living there. And I would like to remind you that we are talking about a time 300 years before Christopher Columbus. In his book, historian Shahab al-Omari mentions a fascinating incident. This incident involves Mansu Musa, 